Hey, welcome back, everybody. The real estate market booming. So hot right now. The U.S. here in the United States, most realtors are actually complaining because they don't have enough inventory. It's like some of them are saying, I got nothing to sell. Can you imagine that? But here's the problem. There's now talk that this thing is going so high, it could cause, you know, you've heard this a million times, right? The bubble, and then the bubble could burst. Uh, let, let me show you something to kind of illustrate uh, what we mean. I, I want you to look at the rise in home prices. We're gonna go back to 1991, 1991 to the present. So is, is this another bubble, right? So you, so you look at 91, can you imagine if you'd been able to buy a home back then? Look at that. Wow, nice, huh? Everything was less than $100,000. Good luck. So this thing keeps going all the way to here, right? Now we're around six, the big you know, meltdown or whatever you want to call it. Boom, this thing goes down. There's the bubble, there's the burst. Uh-oh, suddenly things are cheap again, and now it goes woo. And look at the very end here since the whole COVID thing started. Look at that. It almost looks like it's straight up, right? So now everybody's thinking, oh, that went up, it's gotta go. Oh, that goes up, oh, it's gotta go. And by the way, how high can they go, right? So, my favorite real estate guest, bar none, is Jason Hartman, whose podcast I listen to regularly, and he's gonna try and break this down for us. You know, it's funny, because I was listening to you the other day, and here's what I want you to start with. You were talking the other day as I was taking my kids out, and they were mad because I forced them to listen to you, about, <laughs> what it is that is actually causing the lack of inventory. And you were explaining that it was like a hedge fund kind of thing. These big giant banks or groups that are coming in and buying them all. It's not just people. Can you start there? You know, Rick, that's a good point. People are finding that a lot of times now they're in a multiple offer situation when they're trying to buy a house. Mm -hmm. And they're usually competing against many other buyers, traditional buyers in the market, investors in the market. But what they're mostly competing against nowadays that is frustrating them are overfunded corporations, giant companies, big hedge funds, some of them foreign. This is really frustrating to home buyers because the American dream, isn't it supposed to be for traditional Americans? Maybe not. You know, it's for big giant investment companies and not only American based companies, some of them are foreign based as well. So you explained as I was listening to you that they have all this money because it's there, so they have to spend it, and they're spending it on entire communities, entire neighborhoods, and entire blocks. Um, I guess the question is now, I get that. What, at what point does that thing go too high and then home prices are gonna come back down again? It will get to that point, Rick, but it's not there yet. The only reason people think homes are so expensive is because they're comparing them only to one thing, the price of dollars. They're not comparing them to the price of gold or the S&P or Bitcoin or a million other assets like mm. oil, orange juice, soybeans, etc. Priced in many of these other commodities, real estate is actually still pretty darn cheap. And that's based on the price of the house. But when you compare these commodities to the payment on the house, it looks really cheap. And that is true. Those are valid comparisons. I could share many with you, but priced in many other assets, many other commodities, not just dollars, mm. housing is actually still quite cheap. I know that may sound amazing to some, but if you really look at it, it's true. 30 seconds. Are we heading for a bubble burst? Eventually, if it keeps going like this, I mean, the market is very overheated. There's no question about it. Inventory is lacking lumber prices, copper prices, so many other commodities, ingredients that are used to build a house are skyrocketing in price, no question about it. But there is still a systemic housing shortage, mm. and that shortage will take at least another year or two to get to some sort of equilibrium point. So we are a long way away from a bubble. Assuming interest rates stay this low and things stay the way they are, I think we're going to see prices go up quite a bit further. But again, that's only priced in dollars. Right. I told you he knew his stuff. Jason Hartman, as usual. Good job, my friend. We thank you very much for, Thanks, uh, Rick. for, th for taking us through that.